Hello and welcome. This is the new version of the HPET video. This is the original video. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that this video could be a lot more concise and there was a lot of swearing in it because it was a live recording instead of something that was prepped for. So high precision event timer HPET, which is why you're here. If you understand computers, operating systems, Windows already, you can just go into your device manager And you will see it here. High precision event timer. See, I already have mine disabled. So you just right click on it. And then there's enable disable, should be enable disable right there. So at this point, I would say from my experience with the first video, I got a lot of comments. This was like one of the, this was the most viewed and commented on like Windows video or settings video or anything I've ever posted. So. I got a lot of feedback and um, a lot of people commented about other processors, which I don't know if they were confused or just didn't read or, but this was, this is specifically meant for Intel. So Windows 10, Intel, Windows 10, Intel. This is like the key instance in which problems arise for this most frequently. So if you want to share your CPU and if it helped you or not that could help somebody else you know what I'm saying like but Again, this is meant for Windows 10 Intel So if you have other setups and you want to share whether this helps you or not put so put in the comments, but Remember that this is what this is for so I'm not telling you it's gonna be inherently better if you have a different setup Right if you want to share that yours is better with or with this on or off But I'm not telling that's not what I'm telling I'm trying to be clear about the information being presented I'm saying that with almost 100% on this case, is it going to improve your performance, right? So it may not be, but that's why you try it, right? So here's an article from the first time also about uh, changing your settings. So originally I just ran through this, but I, I guess I'll just read this really quick for anybody who doesn't know. The High Precision Event Timer HPT is a hardware timer. In modern x86 compatible personal computers compared to older types of timers available in x86 architecture, HPET allows for more efficient processing of highly time sensitive applications such as multimedia playback, OS task switching. It's developed by Intel and Microsoft, has been incorporated since in PC chipsets since 2005. So, formerly referred to as Intel by the multimedia timer, HPET was selected to avoid confusion with the software multimedia timers introduced in. Multimedia extensions to Windows 3.0. Uh, yeah, so if you want, I mean, like, basically the simple version, because if you already understand this, you're going to understand this. You can just read this and understand this. You don't need me to tell you. But if you don't understand this, like, the simple, like, layman type explanation is that originally it was meant to be something that would kind of cap your processes and keep things more orderly. But then we moved towards multi-threading and you know, just our CPUs being so much stronger and more capable now. So like having it do a whole bunch of things on the same clock cycle or waiting to like sync up clock cycles for certain execution isn't necessarily the play for most CPUs now because they're so fast that they'll just just keep executing the next clock cycle like so fast compared to PC chipsets that were made in 2005. So that's the point of like giving you the option to just disable it like some people also commented that they uh, they had to like go into their BIOS previously or that they didn't know that this was an option to just disable it through. So like even if it's on in your BIOS, right? Like Windows is essentially forcing a high precision event timer or equivalent, you know, in in their software and their operating system by having this. So if you disabled this at at the, at the very least you're disabling that function. So maybe you get even better performance by disabling it in your BIOS too. I haven't tried that. Like that's, this was enough for me that once I did this, I learned about this and the bugs of of what can happen. And like, there's t tons of well-documented cases of all different types of games and situations where uh, you can also d disable this in the, in the command prompt. That's if you'd rather do that. Most, some people are intimidated by that, so. The device manager is a little more like UI friendly, I would say. It's just kind of like really obvious what you do. You know, you just right click on it. 
but there are other options. Um, but yeah, it's just like you call it like a bug or a thing, you know. So the point of this video was meant to be to point that out, but you know, I think it just because it was a live video and it went on and talked about other stuff and then got sidetracked, it was just yeah, didn't cover the things as as succinctly as it could. So yeah, now this one could probably be re re sanctified. Let's make sure we covered everything. Quick overview. Uh, yeah, it's bad. It's that's another thing is it's a bad default setting by Windows. Like 2005, it would be different, right? But like, it it's not, you know. So it's like it's not really great to have as a default, in my opinion, in Windows 10 to have it on by default. When in Windows 10, anybody who's running that now has like PC, like CPU built way past 2005. So in that sense alone, we're so far removed from that introductory date that it makes no sense for me to have this on by default, whether you game or not. So that was kind of like the other point of what I was making the video for. And um, yeah, so it's an old problem too with with like the Intel and these. So it's like, yeah, why are we still having it as a default? I mean, again, because there's other chipsets like AMD or other manufacturers. So like maybe that's maybe it's better with it on, right? Like how I said about how people commented. Some people said that they had different AMD chips and they turned this off and it was better, you know? So it's like it's it's a case by case basis. You just have to try it. That's the point. Like so the point is to try to get the most out of what you paid for, right? You have XYZ cost of your stuff and you pay for you paid a lot, then you're not getting the full performance, then that's in my opinion not cool. So that's what that's where I come in. That's why I make these settings videos because these are the types of things that from my background and my training and my degrees, I didn't necessarily learn all these things. They're the types of things that you learn by gaming and like, why is my game stuttering? Why am I not getting as much FPS as I should with this hardware, right? Like these are the types of things that you have to like put together so that you can unlock your hardware more or less to get the, get the performance you paid for. So that's the point. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one. And this is still shorter than the original one. So catch the third version. No, just kidding. Uh, maybe though, but yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't see any problem with redoing videos or re-releasing them. Eventually I was kind of like against that, but eventually I wanted to get to like doing that anyways. So this gave me enough motivation. So Thank you for everybody who commented and watched on this one because there's, I mean, there's enough that I'm just like, all right, yeah, it's time to make the new video. So, yeah, stay tuned for updated videos and new content. Take care of yourselves.